You know what that means? And I'm saying this, it is never too late for any one of you. <laughs> Salt preserve. <laughs> <laughs> so much so that when we were coming out of the water, still with water up to here, I was so moved that I, I grabbed him and I hugged him and I said, you know, Captain, my dream is that you and I were going to come right back here to celebrate your 100th birthday. And he looked at me and he said, but... Jean-Michel, you may not be around. <laughs> so, you know, I'm making deals with a lot of people these days because I want to dive on their 100th birthday. Not anniversary like I did with my dad, for my dad, with our team and my children and so on. But people, you know, are still there, plugging in. You may have heard of Dr. Sylvia Earle. We were in Washington, D.C. not very long ago, and I, she was sitting in the audience, and I said, my dream is to dive with Dr. Sylvia Earle, and she lives around the bay, by the way. She's on the other side over there. Um, and I want to dive on her 100th birthday. And she stood up and she said, deal! <laughs> and then she walked up, and in front of 1,100 people, she agreed to do it. So. So I'm waiting. <laughs> now all of that started with this incredible gentleman, my dad, who was in a family in the Bordeaux wine country, where his uncle owned a huge part of the Bordeaux properties, you know, where they make very, very good wine. And uh, that crazy guy, oh, so bad. He went to Monaco at a casino and he lost the entire property, including his Bentley. <laughs> and here I am, I have to talk. <laughs> I could be making wine <laughs> and drink. But thanks to my dad, he wanted to explore the world. He wanted to go out there. He didn't want to be stuck there. And the only thing he could do was to sign up and become a naval officer. So he became part of the French Navy. And he sailed for a number of years and he was frustrated to be on the ship and not knowing what was under the keel of his ship. And thanks to Captain Tayez, he started snorkeling. Remember all of that was in the 30s before I was born. Not much earlier, but... 